to in the kitchen with Lo. I am Lo, by the way, you guys. Welcome back to my home. Welcome back to my kitchen. On the menu for today is chicken and sausage, Cajun jerk pasta. My way, okay? Y'all know my motto. Cook what you know your family would eat. Don't let nobody tell you what to do in your own kitchen. Guys, let's jump right on in these pots. This is going to be an easy meal, guys. So let's go ahead and jump in the pots. Let's get it. Okay, guys, these are some of our ingredients. We have flavors for days today, okay? We have our chopped smoked sausages. We have our red bell peppers, our green bell peppers. We have our onions. We have some thyme seasoning. We have black pepper. We have minced garlic. We have our jerk seasoning. We have Italian seasoning. We have diced tomatoes. We have our jerk seasoning. We have Tony's. We have our smoked paprika with garlic, chili, and chives. We have our onion powder. We have our Cajun and season. We have our basil. And we also have our garlic powder. We got flavor today, guys. So guys, let's jump into my favorite part and that is prepping my vegetables. It's something about fresh vegetables. I just love cutting them up, guys. So I'm going to jump right on in cutting up my vegetables and all of my meats and we're going to get this video started. I am again making jerk chicken Cajun sausage pasta my way guys so let's get into it some chicken breast you guys and all I'm doing is cutting off all the fat looking to see what I don't want on the chicken and then I'm going to cut them up into scripts because I'm going to eventually cut them up into cube um, like quarter size pieces you can do small pieces smaller than the quarter size it's up to you how you want your chicken and your pasta but that's all I'm doing guys is just removing the fat and prepping this chicken up so we can go ahead and get it in our skillet and getting this dish finished that's my number one goal and see the size that i'm cutting it up it can be smaller than that if you desire it's totally up to you i am going to jump over here and wash our chicken and that is lemon juice 
and of course i'm going to do it in vinegar and guys please don't forget when you're done cleaning your meat clean your area your sink bacteria e coli you know the drill but auntie who y'all i'm just gonna clean this chicken and wash it up real good looking for anything that i don't want on the chicken that i missed and i'm going to um keep it moving and thank you guys for clicking on my channel coming back to visit your girl i am forever grateful for you guys thank you for supporting me along my cooking journey for my children i always pat my meat dry guys i don't want a bunch of liquid floating in my seasoning so i just pat it dry do what you want to do with your chicken this just is what i do but anywho guys we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna throw some seasoning on this chicken y'all already know if you ain't sneezing it definitely ain't seasoned okay so throw that flavor on that meat okay but anyways we gonna mix that up really well y'all i'm gonna hit it with some jerk okay some of that jerk seasoning i did two tablespoons of that i'm gonna mix it really well y'all nothing like the smell of jerk that's some good chicken to me okay look at it and then i'm going to move right on over here in our skillet we're going to throw some vegetable oil in the skillet and allow it to heat up and i'm going to start off by cooking our sausages first i want the flavor from the sausages on the chicken even though i already put that jerk on there so you know the flavor gonna be 10 times intense okay but anyways y'all we're gonna go ahead and let our sausages get some color and they have and i'm going to remove them and we're going to just keep the ball rolling in this same oil i am going to put our jerk chicken in don't overcrowd your pot i'm going to do it in two batches because i don't want to just throw everything in and it cook unevenly guys so we're going to just place that jerk chicken right on in there and sear it up and we're going to keep going with our process. Y'all, it smells amazing in this kitchen. Okay. But anyways, our chicken is done. I'm going to remove it. And then I'm going to put in all of our vegetables right in the same skillet. Yes, indeed, y'all. Nothing to it but to do it. Okay. I'm going to mix all those mixed bell peppers and those onions up, honey. It smells just like the fair in here, okay? You know the food good. But anyways, y'all, I'm going to put some um, seasoning on my vegetable. That's optional. I just do it. But I like to put seasoning on my vegetable, even though it's a lot of flavor going on in this skillet. But I just want them to soften. I don't want them to saute. And they're looking perfect, guys. I'm going to remove them. And we're going to just keep going with this process. So y'all watch me work. I'm going to go ahead and get our water going for our pasta. I'm going to add salt and some vegetable oil in our water so our pasta won't stick. And then I'm going to place our pasta in the water and now while our pasta is cooking i want to move right along to making our alfredo sauce because you know it don't take long to make alfredo sauce so we're going to let our pasta go ahead and start cooking and then we're going to move right onto that skillet and make our alfredo sauce and y'all i'm going to put in some butter i know it may look like a lot of butter I am making a lot of sauce and I'm going to add flour and I'm going to stir it in guys. I Alfredo sauce is like one of the easiest things. I don't think you can mess it up if you feel what I'm saying. It's that easy. Just combine you some butter and flour for your base and then add your heavy whipping cream and any ingredients that you want to put in your alfredo people make many kinds of alfredo sauces so i don't think you can mess it up guys but anywho these are the ingredients i like i'm going to put in some minced garlic totally optional and, and stir it into my base and guys look listen when i tell you i'm at red lobster in this moment <laughs> i'm gonna put in some jerk seasoning and i'm gonna stir that right on in 
get it right on into that base y'all i try to get all my flavors and stuff in the beginning so i won't have to keep adding it in once the sauce is already made and i'm just gonna stir it right on in there honey it smells so good look listen okay <laughs> i also add sour cream in my alfredo sauce i like the tanginess of sour cream that's why i added in my alfredo sauce you don't have to it's totally up to you guys but anywho y'all i'm going to add in some more heavy whipping cream and we're going to just continue to add in simple ingredients like i stated i don't think you could mess up an alfredo sauce i could be wrong okay but anywho y'all i'm going to add in all of my seasonings and that's just from the season blend i had earlier that i mixed together just gonna add in my seasonings mix that all in y'all look listen you got to have that flavor flavor is key when something hits your tongue you want them flavor palettes just to go crazy in your mouth okay but anyways y'all i'm gonna add in my diced tomatoes and get that all combined into my sauce we're almost finished that quick almost to the finish line it's snap of a finger you're done with your alfredo sauce i'm also going to add in two different cheeses i have pepper jack cheese we like a little pop in our pasta so that's why i got pepper jack and i'm also going to add in some italian cheese it's totally up to you guys what kind of cheese your family likes and i'm going to just let that melt and allow that to simmer allow our heavy whipping cream to thicken up and your sauce is done that quick that quick guys i told you it's simple and easy okay i got to show you guys my sauce it came out perfect look at it simple and easy nothing hard about it look at that sauce yes indeedy y'all simple and easy i'm going to place the lid on it and allow it to simmer our pasta should be done and it is guys look at that pasta yes indeed we're going to add in those sausages those peppers and that chicken okay honey look listen i think i'm at a italian restaurant honey that's how i feel up in here honey let me make this pasta for my children you hear me but anyways y'all i hope y'all having a blessed day continue to do great things in your life i pray that everything be successful no matter what you're going through give it to god okay let's mix everything together look at that honey yes indeedy you can't tell me that I ain't chef boy d low <laughs> okay but anyways y'all we're gonna pour that alfredo sauce on our pasta and we're gonna mix everything together look listen it looks wonderful guys i love when you assemble a dish and everything come out just perfect not a speckle in sight okay just perfect and honey look at that pasta creamy nobody don't want no dry pasta Put some sauce on my pasta, okay? I'm going to add a little bit more sauce, guys. That's just me. To me, it's not wet enough, okay? And that's just me. You don't have to add a lot of sauce if you don't want to. But in my eyes and in my kitchen, it feels like I need some more, okay? So I just added a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and finish this dish. I'm going to assemble the plate. And thank you guys for watching me. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next video.